when you're processing non-insect arthropods such as spiders, scorpions, and centipedes, uh, these specimens usually go in ethanol. This here is a banana spider and it is in a jar of ethanol. And we usually use 70% ethanol um, and you put it in vials. We prefer to use uh, snap cap vials that way we don't have to constantly refill these specimens uh, containers with alcohol. Non-insect specimens, specifically centipedes, scorpions, spiders, any arthropod that's not an insect, even crustaceans such as shrimp and lobster, go, usually go in ethanol to, for proper preservation. And we prefer to use one dram vials um, or two dram vials with snap caps to prevent uh, liquid from leaking out of the container. And then we also have a label that is in the vial with the specimen. The uh, specimens, you know, they're euthanized the same way as insects, either by freezing or sodium cyanide. But I take the specimen, uh, this is a centipede, a house centipede, and I just put it into the vial of alcohol. And when you're putting a specimen in a vial, you want to make sure that the specimen is visible so that the label is also visible on one side and then you can turn it around and also see the specimen. <clears throat> so here's a scorpion. This is a bark scorpion, Centroides exilicata. I'm going to take the scorpion and there's many, you want to make sure you have a vial that is about the you know equal uh, to the size of the specimen. You don't want to do an overkill. You don't want to have a very large vial for a very small specimen. This saves space and money. You put a label in the vial, and we use uh, inkjet that has a special type of paper to where the ink does not come off the label. The label is always facing outside so you can see the information on the label and you can also see the specimen inside. So I take the specimen, I put it in the vial, and I usually try to put it in the vial in an area where I can look at it for a reference that's easy identifiable. If I turn it the other way to where the where its uh, ventral side is exposed and not the dorsal, well then it's harder to identify with this particular species scorpion it's good to see the ventral side, it's good to see the, or the dorsal side, it's good to see the eyes, claws, and tail. So this is a nice specimen. Then I take the ethanol, and I use 70% ethanol. If you're doing DNA work, then it's very important to use 100% ethanol or 90% ethanol. That way you preserve the DNA of the specimen too. And when you preserve the DNA, you should also put these vials in the freezer. Here's a spider. Uh, whenever you're doing collections of insects, almost everywhere you find insects, you will also see spiders. Spiders are one of the most common non-insect arthropods that you will encounter. Now for uh, preserving spiders, they are a non-insect. They're an arachnid. They have eight legs. You can see here's the cephalothorax. Here's the abdomen. And when processing um, arachnids, they need to go in ethanol. If you were to pin this specimen or dry it, the abdomen is usually the softest part of the spider and this will dry up. It'll be as dry as a raisin. It'll prune up and there are certain characteristics on the abdomen that are very important for identification. For example, the epigenin, which is the genitalia of the spider, both male and female have the epigenin and you need to be able to uh, identify certain structures within there. If this abdomen is dried up, you will not be able to identify it. Sometimes you can't even identify spiders to family if the abdomen is dried up. Uh, there's also spinnerets here on the end of the abdomen where the spider makes silk. Those are very important for identification. Also the eyes uh, on the cephalothorax, the front of the cephalothorax are very important for identification. 
So it really doesn't matter how you put the spider in the vial. Again, I want to use uh, uh, one dram vial or two dram, depending on the size of the spider. Um, even a spider such as a tarantula should go in ethanol. And it's a big vial. Um, when you're doing your collections, I recommend trying to get small spiders. Don't try to get a tarantula because these dram vials are expensive and you will have to pay money to get a very large dram vial for something the size of a tarantula. When you're putting a spider in a vial, you want to make sure the legs are kind of straight and you want to have it go into the vial nice and smooth. I like to put a spider in the vial so the dorsal side is exposed so it's facing upward and this way you have a good specimen to see in a reference collection um, for identification as well. And then I take the ethanol and I use 70 percent ethanol to put in the vial. When you're filling up a vial with ethanol, when you fill it up to the top and you put the cap back on it, sometimes the gas in there will cause the cap to pop back up. So what you want to do is let it sit for a couple of seconds so a lot of the fumes get out of the vial and then you put the cap back on.